Hi everyone, Sean here with Tops Rip Party for 2021 Tops Series 1 Baseball. This is a double header, two case break, one hobby, one jumbo case, random team number three, where uh, all inserts, short prints, parallels, numbered cards, and hits for your team ship. All veteran base cards will be randomly distributed evenly between the 30 spots. So it's one full case of jumbo, one full case of hobby. Here is the randomizer. List of customers for Mark Stemmerman down to Steven Surrey with Last Spot Mojo and the teams from the Diamondbacks down to the Washington Nationals. Dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up. Five and one six times. Six and final time. From Levi Johnson times two down to Derek Hamilton. Six times on the randomizer, six times on the dice. Now six times on the teams. Uh, Joe, right here over my shoulder, is going to start opening up the hobby case. Kansas City Royals down to the Milwaukee Brewers. Six times and six times on the dice. Here is the final list. Let's see how it shakes out. So Levi Johnson with the Royals and the White Sox, Nelson Omoto with the Reds, Matthew Gomes with the Padres, Mark Stemmerman with the Diamondbacks, Kevin Sullivan with the Tigers, Ryan Casey with the Cardinals, Austin Hayner with the Giants, Jonathan Rivera with the Pirates, Gary Martin with the Cubs, Matthew Parsons with the Mar uh, Mariners, Ryan Keating with the Red Sox, C uh, Curtis Donhiuk, Dohaniuk with the uh, Angels, Gregory Anthony with the Indians, Mark Stemmerman with the Rays, Calvin Michael with the Twins, Stephen Surrey, Last Spot Mojo with the Mets, Chris Miller with the Rockies, James Smee with the Phillies, uh, Kurtz Bellinger with the Astros, Gary Martin with the Nationals, uh, Andre Najedj with the Marlins, Billy Doherty with the A's, Eric Jacklich with the Dodgers, Gary Martin with the Blue Jays, Michael Diaz with the Orioles, David De La Pena with the Rangers, Gary Martin with the Yankees and with the Braves, and Derek Hamilton with the Brewers. So there's your list. Uh, trade window, open. Not to know, I'm sure how many people are here watching live that are in this break, but here is your opportunity for trades. If we don't have any chat about trades, I'll close it down in about 30 seconds. Okay, so no talks of trades, so let's close the trade window, print, and rip. So Joe's ripping some of them. I'll rip a couple boxes here, and we'll start going. Dandy's Tops Safety Blade. Yeah. It's pretty great. It retracts on its own. It does. Keeps you from being a fool and cutting yourself. Don't want to be a fool. Oh man, I'm just knocking over cards. I don't know why these cards, these corners are bent already into cards. On the ones in the middle? No, on the ones that I'm pulling out of these packs. Oh. So some of those uh, in the middle, there's some of the uh, the home run cards or whatever. They're uh, they're bigger than the rest of the cards. So it's like a, it's not on cardstock; it's actually on like cardboard. Um, so like I, I could feel them a bunch of times. I was like, oh.
Who'd you end up with, bases loaded? Who are you on the list? You're happy with your teams. But I think there's a whole lot of good teams, so. First time breaking with us, but you like it already? Well, that's it. You're stuck forever. Cubs, Braves, Yankees, Nationals, Blue Jays. I'd say that's some pretty good teams. Only missing the Angels? Yeah. Angels are my team. Joe's secretly an Angels fan, too. Huh. He's just upset that they, they're underperforming. So he's adopted the Dodgers until they've started performing again. I can't fault him for that. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> okay. He has a rally monkey. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's just so silly. <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. It's not. So, so what, the, the rally monkey? Yeah, so embarrassing. First off, it worked. So embarrassing, you guys. It worked. I wasn't, I'm not mad about it at all. Dodgers don't have anything cool like a rally monkey. You don't have anything stupid and Mickey Mouse like a rally monkey. You guys can keep being a fucking child team if you want to. <laughs> God. Child team angels. How about a real team with history like the Dodgers? Stolen history from New York. Nick Madrigal. Stolen history. We've made, made plenty of history in LA. For the Chicago White Sox. Here's our final list, by the way. Uh, Levi Johnson on the White Sox. Yeah, Told you. Yeah. They're just too. They're just too big. Alec Baum. For the Phillies, James Smee. Yeah, I thought it was like I was like, is that a redemption card? Or yeah, what? it almost feels like there's. Like I thought a hundred percent. I thought it was a redemption card, and then I realized it was just the home run derby cards. Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox. Ryan Keating, Joe Adele, my Angels. Curtis Dahonyuk. And our auto, Sean Murphy for the Oakland A's, Billy Doherty. In these hobby boxes, it's either one auto or one uh, relic. Christian Pache for the Braves, Gary Martin. We've got Leori Garcia to two ninety nine for the Chicago White Sox and Levi Johnson. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles, Michael Diaz. Casey Mize and Sixto Sanchez. Casey Mize is going to go to the Tigers. Sixto Sanchez going to the Marlins. Uh, Tigers, Kevin Sullivan, Marlins, Andre Nadezhd.
Justin Verlander. Blue for the Astros, Curtis Bellinger. Sam, how are you, man? Welcome to Wednesday morning. We've got an Eloy flipped around. Is that a short print? Mm, 213. That's a base card. Just flipped down for no reason. Let's flip around for no reason. Yeah, it was a two two thirteen. Just trolling you. Yeah, because base is two thirteen, short print two thirty, and then super so short print two thirty one. No, it was two thirteen. I saw it for sure. Well, when I was pack stacking, I saw it. It like it was the very top card in the pack, and it was flipped around, and I was like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. This, on the other hand, is to 2021 gold. Michael Taylor. Oh. Gary Martin in the Nationals. There you go, Gary. So, somebody mentioned it in the chat earlier, or Rex mentioned it in the chat earlier, Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, Target, I don't know if Walmart's doing the same, but in certain Targets, and one one of them is right next to my house, because a buddy sent me pictures of it, they are, uh, they're starting to take people's phone numbers that are there for, for uh, on, like, release days, or on uh, stocking days, uh -huh. and uh, text them once the supplies are available. Wow. But... Limiting it to two packs total. One, like, that's it. Like two retail packs total? Yep. Mm. Pretty interesting. Nick Madrigal, White Sox, but Levi least, Johnson. But the idea being that at least you'll get a couple. Yes. And Casey Mize to 150 for the Everyone Detroit Tigers, Kevin Sullivan. Instead of, instead of one person, one person grabbing. getting 100 Series 1 retail packs. Uh, yep. Interesting. Pretty crazy, so. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, we'll see how it works. But uh, there was literally, like, my buddy sent me a picture. There was, like, 30 people waiting outside. They don't let you wait inside anymore. So that's why they're, like, you can't stay Did inside. They make you wait outside? Yeah, 100%. Like, like, like what? Like, you're, like, collectors or second-class citizens? Mm -hmm. Huh. Somebody mm -hmm. grab the next three boxes. So those are three silver packs. I don't know if I like that. Well, I mean, one, they could wait in their cars. Whoa! There's a shaped sketch card in here. I'm not telling you who it is. Did it, did it said congratulations on the back. Yep. If there's a shaped sketch card. It said congratulations. That's got to be an autograph. Sketch card. Well, I don't know if it's an autograph, but it's definitely a sketch card. Oh, it's a sketch? Yeah. Oh. It says shaped sketch card. Interesting. Did you see the player name on it? I did. Is it going to be really cool? But I'm not telling you who it is. I don't want to know. But yeah, yeah, well... It's a shaped sketch card. So it's pretty cool already. Right. So it's a one of one. It doesn't matter who it is. It's a one of one. It's a shaped sketch card. It's a one of one. I've never seen anything like this before. I did see the die cut, which was super weird. I was like, wait a second, that's a die cut. The seventeenth anniversary die cut? That's the so that wait, was that what it was? Yeah, seven seven zero is the die cut with the player in the middle. Wow. Okay. That's all I saw that said the congratulations on it. I was like, what? Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox, Ryan Keating. Joe Adele. Can you have me a blank card? Yeah. So this blank card is the stack where the... The sketch is. The okay. sketch is. Okay, cool. Casey Mize, Sixto Sanchez. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make it make it wait until uh, until my curiosities get too much and I can't stand it anymore. Well, now I want to see it then before you do that. <laughs> Are you looking at it already? Well, I don't have to want to wait for you to do it. Fine, then we'll do it. We'll do it for the next one. Don't don't you no, can't. I can't, you can't even find it. You don't get to do it unless we get to do it. We're all family here at Jaspie's. Now we got so many boxes to go. <laughs> You're the one that got us excited. Yeah, sorry. Well, I got excited. You got us into this predicament. I got excited. Now we're all excited. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think this is the only way to do it is to have all the retail start restricting Joey Bart and Alec Burleson. To two two items each, you know, person. Matt Olson relic to fifty for the A's. Billy Doherty. I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's better than better than zero. Yeah. But I think what it'll do is. The people that are literally going in on release day and buying 30 of something, you know what I mean? Is those days are over. Those, are, those days are gone. So hopefully they will stop trying to go there and buy up everything to resell. Which also means I wonder if you can just go back in if there's just more remaining now. Maybe not, but yeah. Tatis home run. I'm like I'm gonna predict game one. He goes Apo. Just big old big old monster. The Tatis is a home run game one. Yeah, Christian Pache. Probably. You think so? I mean, actually, I don't even know who they're playing. Yeah, I guess it depends on who they're playing. Yeah. So they're going against the Angels. The Angels are going to go shut out all, all year long. Lowest ERA by a ah. team in all-time history. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, with, with, the, with, with like two-fifths of the Orioles pitching staff. Uh, I did, Sam. I did. I heard that uh, McDonald's has uh, put a 10, 10 kids, uh, kids meal ma uh, maximum per order. For Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. Nick Madrigal for the Sox. Alec Baum, Phillies. It's ten per what? Ten per order? Ten, uh, ten children, kids menus or kids uh, meals per per order, from what so I understand. I can just go to McDonald's right now, just get ten. I think, meals? I think so. And then just. But it's a some, max. Get but, some Pokemon. Yeah, yeah ten, ten Pokemon. Then just go packs. back tomorrow and just get ten. Caleb more, Smith right? for the Diamondbacks. Mark Stemmerman to three hundred. It's an advanced stat, I believe. Well, I mean, you can. Man, po Pokemon. They were in the, they were in cereal losses too recently. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I think. Were they really? Yeah. So they're 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 really making a trading card push, huh? Well, they know what they're doing. The Mon is hot. Bo Bichette, gold to 2021. Blue Jays, Gary Martin. Your excitement for that card makes me think it's a Dodger, just so you know. I'm excited because it's a sketch card. Could be anybody. I'm just saying.
Ryan Mountcastle. So you think Kiebert Ruiz will, will contribute for you guys this year? I don't know. That's a good question. We'll, uh, he'll be given opportunities to succeed. He's supposed to be a better hitter than he is the uh, receiver of the ball. But people seem to really like the kid. He, uh, forget what country he's from, but when he first started out as like single A or something like that, a rookie ball, he spent like I think two winters or something like that at the home of one of his coaches, who is, you know, an English speaker, mm -hmm. American, and uh, stayed with him just to learn English. Jose Abreu. So he, he'd be, uh, or Urena to 2021. So he'd be able to communicate with pitchers better. Marlins, uh, Andre Najedge. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so... Joey Bart. So he's committed to it. He's into it. Dylan Carlson. I'm looking forward to Jacob Marsh. What's up with Jacob Marsh? Or is it Jacob Marsh? It's Marsh. Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh, sorry. Yeah, I was, I, I, was getting, I was getting him mixed up with Jacob Walsh or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, March. Walsh from 90210? No, our first baseman. Uh, the guy who, like... Who... Isn't, isn't Brandon Walsh 90210? Brandon Marsh is, uh... Angels. Angels guy. Outfielder. Um, I'm looking forward to him. Whenever we get him up. Him and Joe Adele have, like, this, like, teammate, buddy-buddy, like, buddy-cop type thing going, dynamic going on. Uh -huh. Where I feel like, uh, Adele was, did not play as well because he didn't have him around last year. Hmm. So I think once they're back together, it'll be fun. Kind of Brandon Walsh kind of is Jason Priestley. Jared Walsh. There you go. There. Jared Walsh, Angels first baseman. Well, my buddy isn't there. I can't play well. Well. I don't know why you got to be so mean. These are young kids. Everything's just going Jordan work Alvarez. Out. Work out just right. <laughs> Nick, Joe's being a jerk to the Angels again. Wow. Well. Nick Madrigal. Alec Baum. They win a half World Series and all of a sudden, you know, sitting on top of like this half mountain. Not a full mountain. Christian Pache. It's a World Series. You can't take that away from me. No matter what you say. I'm going to find, I'm going to dig up the video of you on, or uh, Cal Ripken Jr., short print. Well, I Orioles, think, I Michael think over Diaz. the course of the season, my thought process evolved. Just like any <laughs> mature human being that can take more information. Your thought and, process, uh, your thought process evolved once you guys had the once you had, once you had the title. Stone, well, you can't, I can't change my mind. Well, once you won the title, you can't, involved, you can't then, say. Uh, and then uh, get more information yeah. in my head and then change yeah. my mind. And then reassess the thought process. Yeah. Be pretty, pretty silly. I am I am a evolving I'm evolving my thoughts and ideas every day, Sean. I'm not just <laughs> not just stuck in whatever year you're stuck in. You know? Uh, I'm just waiting for the one of somebody in the Dodgers organization to step up and be like, you know what? We don't count this as a World Series until we actually win a real one. And like a man. Still a World Series. Christian Pache. Cassander Bogarts, Red Sox. Ryan Keating. I'm 
because I've just been doing too much, like, too much like Dynasty. My, my, I'm not, I'm not stretched out to do Series 1. <laughs> right. Just too much Diamond <laughs> Top Diamond Icons. And not enough Series 1. Just not used, used to this. Just used to, like, throwing a... Just doing, like... You've got a, you've got a. So I've just been doing middle relief. <laughs> just closer. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you've been pulled into the starting yeah, rotation. Yeah, like, oh, here's a closer. And they're just like, oh yeah, you want to, you want to pitch, you want to go six innings, hundred pitches today. It's like, okay. Yeah, we're gonna give you your shot. And then all of a sudden, like first inning, you get a blister. Sudden, yeah, I'm just like, oh. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson, <laughs> you got a blister. You're like, no, I'm gonna pitch through it. Oh my oh, god, yeah, this is yeah, not working out. Uh, Casey Mize foil. Just used to doing too much top five. Tigers, baseball. Kevin Sullivan. Have not. Built up my break strength to series one. <laughs> These packs really, you know, one pack isn't that much, but you do a couple thousand. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's getting me. A like bit. you go to you go to the gym, you you sit down at the bench, you know, do some bench presses. No right. weight on there. Right. That thing's easy. After a couple hundred. Whew. Brandon Belak, rookie auto for the Astros. Uh, Curtis or Kurtz Bollinger, maybe use a little bit more of the. I mean, it's not that bad, but I guess. You got a. Uh, got too soft breaking all that archive signature series. Not enough series one. Out of 70, Garrett Richards. I wish the Angels still had him. San Diego Padres, Matt Gomes. Mediocre pitcher. I mean, for us, it'd be a very good pitcher. Christian Pache, Braves, Gary Martin. <clears throat> yeah, um, he didn't have that uh, those arm injuries. He was really good before then. No, he was. Those arm injuries really got to him. Glaber. He he resigned somewhere. Who did he, who did he sign with? How many? Um, he was with the he was with the pot. Potters gave him two years. Is he still with the Potters or no? I don't think so. They only gave him two years, and one of those years was an injury year. Yeah, that was the first year. So they were basically saying, and they knew that going in. They were saying like, prove it. Well, I think I think they were just saying this is what we pay you for a one year deal anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just hold on to you for two. He's at Boston now, Nick. Huh? Boston. Oh, okay. Where good things go to die. Isn't, that's their, that's the city slogan, right? <laughs> you want to alienate one of the most passionate fan bases in America right now? <laughs> I guess they're all... You know what? I'll pick a fight with them. I don't You're going to pick a fight with the city I'll of pick Boston? A fight. I'll pick a fight oh, with Boston. Boy. Those are the loudest... Actually, no. I mean, other than Philly. Nick Madrigal. This soft Orange County kid is going to pick battles with Boston. The only good part about the Red Sox sucking is all their fans who were fake fans in the first place won't come to the games anymore. For the Phillies, that was Alec Baum. Same thing with the Patriots. Isn't it funny how there's, suck like a, too. there's a whole generation of kids that have grown up knowing nothing but Bobby Boston Dahlbeck. being a winning city. Yeah, when they you were I mean? garbage for so long. Because like the, the Red Sox had won in like early 2000s, right? Yeah. And then I think the Celtics must have knocked a couple out soon after that. Joe Adele. And the Patriots have been winning this entire decade and a half. You know? So, it's like, it's... <laughs> Bo like, literally. All, and the funny thing is, all those Boston fans are now softies because they're like, well, we're good. And Casey all the, Mize. And all their, all their parents and their, their uncles <laughs> and their aunts and uncles and, you know, and grandmothers and grandma are just all like, just like we were terrible for decades. Liam Hendricks. You know, like, to 2021 like 80 year old grandma saying the you Billy that for 70 years of my life has just been garbage the Celtics have always been good though that no, doesn't Celtics count been, been I mean there was like a decade where they sucked and it was like even that was like they didn't they weren't like Red Sox and Patriots terrible you know no maybe they weren't Bruins are actually pretty bad now too aren't they I'm pretty sure
That was my favorite thing is going to games. Oh, we got another retro uh, short print. George Brett. Hmm. Kansas City Royals. That was the, like, Levi the Johnson. One you pulled. I, the fourth one. I just pulled a, I pulled a Cal Ripken earlier, too. In that Series this, 1 design? Yeah. Right like in this, in this break. Where did... Are there none I, of the old, none like of the old got, school ones. Were, you didn't get any like of them. I've seen other guys, but they were all just inserts. No, you didn't. Yeah, the series one. I got them all. For, you have a bingo card ready? Bingo card going? <laughs> Ryan Mountcastle. Are the Bruins that are the Bruins good this year? I don't know. As, so, as soon as the the ducks like fell in their face coming out of the blocks this year. I just stopped paying attention to hockey again. Fair weather fan. I'm still a fan. He's a fair weather fan. I can't go to games anyways. When the wind blows south <laughs> and things are going bad. Okay, here's the, the John silver packs. Fair weather fan. I love my teams. Whoa, 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 Nick. Don't be too high, uh, feisty over there. That is not true. They're literally building like a $2.5 billion stadium development plan around the ducks. They're not moving. We're not going anywhere. Joey Bart for the Giants. Austin Hainer. Disney has any ownership in the... What do you mean, not anymore? They're still doing that, Nick. I think he was answering the, the Disney question. Oh. Oh, I thought you were saying that. Um, so that's the one I'm going to do first. Mm -hmm. So let me do... Let me clear up some space. Three, four, five, and six. So here's six box toppers. Okay, so I'm bringing six boxes up here, guys. So half the case. Take that, take that guy too. Okay. So seven, I'm bringing up here. Here's the silver pack. Still here? Tell him to wait for the Nick. Uh, if you're still here watching, wait. I'm about to. We're about to look at a one-on-one -on -one sketch card. I think. I mean, I don't know if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I just. I all I know is it's a, it's a sketch card. I'm assuming it's one-on-one, -on -one, but all I, I I do know. It's a so sketch he card. he stacked this on top of that stack so that we would look at this first. Who could it be? Go now? guess. Guess do, now, do, Nick. Do, do, do. Nick wants to guess. Okay, you can guess. Better do um, it. I'll, I'll tell you it's not a rookie. Luis Robert. That's my guess. Christian Pache. Nick saying Rafael Devers. 
Bases, uh, Gary's saying Chipper Jones. Hollywood saying Clayton Kershaw. Sam saying Jose Altuve. So it's literally this card, but. Like, mm, I don't think it was shaped like. Well, it might be shaped like. I didn't think it was shaped like that. Because I thought you said it was a 70. No, I'm saying that, that's the 70 die cut. Oh, I thought that's, I that's what the, the back of the sketch, sketch die cut looked different. Oh. At least from. I mean, maybe it does say 7 0 on it, but. Rex is saying Joey Votto. I think it's in this stack here. I'm so nervous. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum, Tim Anderson, Tim to two ninety in this stack. You see it? Hmm. I think it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the bottom of that stack there. Or second card from the bottom. Kevin Gaussman to 2021 for the Giants. Austin Hayner. Nick says save it to the very end. Save for, well, that's what I was trying to do, Nick. And Joe was like, he was trying to sneak a peek at it because he's like, I'm not going to wait then. I'm yeah. going to see who it is. He wanted to see it. So We're still like a jumbo case away. That's true. We have we, we have like a literally entire another. Yeah. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Oh, it's Matt Olson. That's actually really cool. It's the Topps logo. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I, I couldn't tell when I just glanced at it. It's the old school Topps logo that I'm wearing on my shirt. Nice. Matt Chapman, sketch card. Is it? Does it say one of it one? Doesn't, or does it doesn't. But I mean, say? the hand drawn artwork featured on this front of this card was inspired by professional athletes in Major League Baseball. Or not Matt Olson, Matt Chapman. That's pretty cool. So it's got to be a one of one. It's a real sketch. Uh, Oakland A's, Billy Doherty. There you go, Billy. Nice. There you go, Billy. Congrats, man. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Jumbo. So none of us were right, just so you know. Eight hundred seventy fourth guess. Well, I, I feel like I would have gotten that him before eight hundred seventy four guesses, but not by that much. Bobby Dahlbeck, Joe Adele. Casey Mize, Sixto Sanchez. Joey Bart, Tyler, uh, Dylan Carlson. Who is that baseball closer that had an extra finger on his hand? <gasps> what? I don't know about this. I don't like it. Yeah, I think it was just like he had like an extra... I don't know if it was actually a functioning finger, but it was... Definitely an extra digit. Hmm. I want to say it's a closer. K. Brian Hayes, rookie spring training. Alfonso Alfonseca. 
Is that is what he's saying? Yeah, like Marlins Pittsburgh Pir- closer maybe. Pittsburgh Pirates. That's a uh, Jonathan Rivera from the Cubs. Had six fingers. I think he bounced around a little bit, but I Ryan think Mountcastle. I think, I think Al Francesca is the right guy. Did it give him a little bit different spin? I don't know. He, I mean, he was. Did he use the extra finger for for more spin? I think that's the big question. Maybe he did. I don't know. But he was a serviceable reliever. I, mean, I feel like he was a serviceable reliever for a long time. Let's think about what he could do with an extra extra finger. I feel like you could do like what if I would I be able to like go through cards quicker? Strasburg. I, know, I think most of the time when you get an extra finger, it's just like a little stub that comes off your pinky, and it's just kind of useless. Yeah. Right, I guess, aren't fingers digits, though? So they just called it an extra digit. I guess a finger is if you can actually use it, and a digit if it's just like an extra stub. Maybe that's the medical. Mm. Wow, he, that I did not know. Nick's saying there's also an extra digit on his foot. Wow. It wasn't a finger, according to Wiki. It was a digit, which also was yeah. a digit on his foot. That, uh, the extra on his foot, I did not know. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like talking about this. Why? Does that bother you? Kinda. I'm all, I'm all for, you know. It's kind of weird. I mean, not weird. Love why you guys. It, why, why is that weird? I love you all with all your... <laughs> <laughs> why is that weird? I'm not putting this on video. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, people who are Shut different scare me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never said that. Let's go back to hating on Boston. I'll take I'll take that hate mail. Joey Bart. You know, not only did you offend Boston, you offended everyone with an extra digit in Boston. <laughs> you know what? Those people can get mad at me. Dylan Carlson. <laughs> they're like, they're like Sean's anti extra digit. Let's see if they can write with that extra digit. <laughs> Bobby Dahlbeck foil. <laughs> the Red Sox Ryan Keating. Red Sox fans, I'll give you an extra digit. Whoa, whoa. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin giving giving the double bird? Yeah. You get the triple bird? Yep. You get the extra digit bird. We should, uh, I mean, it's not fun with, like, hating on a team that sucks like the Red Sox nowadays. I root for all teams to be good. That way, they'd all be hashtag good for the hobby. You openly shit on the Angels. I do not. Ryan Mountcastle. I'm, I'm only provoked when when you start hating on the Dodgers. <laughs> you hate the you hate the Dodgers more than you love the Angels. No, that's, that's not a, true. That's, a fact. that's not true. My only problem with Dodgers fans always is why wear a Dodgers jersey. At a game that doesn't have a Dodgers, the Dodgers playing at. They're wearing baseball-related gear. That's not baseball-related. That's a team, baseball game. That's a team-specific gear. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I'll, if I go to, like, a Mets-Marlins game, I'd probably wear my Dodger cap there. That's a hat. I'm talking about jersey. Like, if, yeah, you, were to, if you were to go to... Maybe a jersey. I don't know. I'm not a jersey guy, though, so I don't... Nate Pearson. Not really a buy and wear a jersey kind of guy. Though. Short print for the Blue Jays. Gary Martin. I think I, I think I have like a. I think when Nick and I first went to the our first national, I think there was like a guy that sold like kind of knockoff jerseys at the national. I got like a couple Dodgers jerseys that I just have around, but like an actual like. $200 jersey, wear that around, I don't know.
Christian Pache. Shiny is saying, I gotta say, of all the different breakers I've watched today, we have the best system. Explain. What does that what does that mean? Nick Madrigal. I'd like to I think I like what you're saying. Uh that Jesus Lazardo relic is for the A's, Billy Doherty. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Casey Mize for the Tigers. I feel like we got a pretty good system there. Yeah, we, we were, I, I actually don't know how the other other guys do it. So. We were working on it earlier. Like maybe this two camera system here where I'm I'm ripping open packs here. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So one one breaking all the packs, one going through the stacks. Yeah, Bobby we Dahlbeck. often do that for Joe Adele. When we're doing these sort of marathons or if there's just an extra person available for like a Colin Moran, like 2021 Pirates, Jonathan Rivera. I think we're fortunate enough to have the uh, the extra staff. I know not every breaker has like multiple people working at the same time. Smaller operations. We're still kind of a small operation, but bigger than some others, I guess. Which is thanks to everybody supporting Jaskies. That's true. And Tops for giving us a chance to do this. Hooking us up with the after hours and all these cases the night before, that helps too. So no, we're not required to wear the wristbands, but, you know, not everybody got the chance to do this, so yeah. why wouldn't I wear a wristband saying, nice. yeah, in your face, I got to do this and you didn't. I got got my wristband right here, top camera. See? Top's official breaker. Joey Bart. That's right, Sam. Sam Stewart. Shout out to Pops. After party. Dylan Carlson. We all know the real party is the after party. Yeah, the real party is the after party. And after the after party is the hotel lobby. Sixto Sanchez. Foil. And after the, the hotel morning. lobby. <laughs> Andre Nadej. What's the next line in that song? Is, who is that? Was that a... That's, that's non-canceled R. Kelly. Oh, I thought that was ludicrous. That's pre pre canceled R. Kelly when everyone liked it. Eh. You don't, I mean, that sounds pretty good. I mean, right? the people he was assaulting didn't like him. No, no, I mean, but at the time, no one knew that. When you were allowed to enjoy the song, uh, enjoy that song in the early two thousands. I think uh, he jumped. He jumped the shark when uh, he made in the closet. Yeah, that, Corey we Seager. Should've, we should have known then. <laughs> Dodgers, we Eric Jacklitz. Why didn't yeah. anyone say? Yeah, we should have known them. Stuck in a closet. Yeah, that was not good. Oh, there's like 70 parts to that song. Mm. Yep. Top pay us. <laughs> <Rhyme> <laughs> Yeah. Is that I, possible, Rex? No. They, can they, you they, can you negotiate that for us next year? Yeah. They, they'd be like they'd be like you're getting product a day early <laughs> and you're gonna like it and we'll give you free stock. And be like, Nick yes, Nighter to 2021 we'll for the Marlins. Andre Najesh. We need the supply. Don't cut us off. Whatever you say. Give me that sweet sweet series one tops. I need it. I need it. I love it. I'm just like scratching my arms and my neck. Where's that series one? Come on, man. I'll pay you first, on Thursday. First, first rookies of the year. Come on. <laughs> first rookie cards in the first set of 2021 baseball season. I need it. I want it. You know I'm good for it. I need my fix, man. Luis Garcia, rookie foil for the Nationals, Gary. 
It's actually a really cool uh, rookie picture of his. Fielding, second base, throwing, throwing yeah, the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a pretty. That's, 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 that could be a pretty good, photo. iconic rookie photo. I like that. Christian Pache. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if we have that kind of clout yet, Rex, to get paid like halftime performers. I heard the the host. Uh, forget her name. I apologize. The host from the uh, the pre party rip party thingy that was like doing the through the years and all the players ripping their own packs and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, she was saying that Bryce Harper has uh, approval on his photos. Really? Yeah. Huh. I was like, well, that. I bet not everyone has that. Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal doesn't have that. Nope. Alec Baum. Not yet. That's a strong photo though. His, his, he's got a strong chin line there, I guess. A little bit tucked into the, the That's shoulder. That's interesting. I didn't... I guess... I, get, I, I wonder if other players have that. They're not all prima donnas like Bryce Harper is what you're saying? I mean, Shots like, fired by Joe. I could see... <laughs> Sorry, Bryce. Bobby Dombeck. He, he might be listening to his West Coast. He might be living in Vegas in the offseason. Just browsing around YouTube, seeing what the other breakers are doing, and he's just like, Wait, Joe Adele. <laughs> oh, Joe is making fun of me again. Yeah, it's like Casey oh. Mize, Sixto Sanchez. Sorry, Bryce. Wait, halftime performers don't get paid? Dane Dunning, the four ninety nine. For the White Sox, Levi Johnson. Now, I'm sure performers. Honestly, I think their I think their record company probably pays yeah, well, pays like, them think, to do it. I think it. it's like it, it's like Pepsi, who puts on the Pepsi halftime show. Yeah. I think this year might have been different because of because of COVID, but he plays Fortnite on Twitch. Doesn't surprise me. But I'm pretty sure that that they get paid somehow, or that they, they don't at least have to pay out of pocket. I did hear that story though. The weekend doing yeah. that. I heard he actually. Ref I, I heard he refused the payment and then paid for the rest of it on his own. Nick Madrigal for the Sox, Levi Johnson. Right, something like that. Yeah, yeah. like he refer he refused the payment and then paid the seven million for the right. production out of his own pocket. Alec Baum. Because most of the time it's yeah, it's like a combination of sponsors and then, I mean they're not getting paid like, but I think it's like sponsors who take care of the performance and yeah. it's just. But yeah, I saw that too. That the weekend like, Bobby was paying that. I didn't realize he refused, but like Joe Adele, yeah, just gonna pay out of pocket. But good for him, I guess. That dude's got so much money, you can't even feel his face when he's with you. Wow. What? <laughs> he's saying his face is numb. Thank you. Casey, my six to a or two before uh, before we're at Jim and Tony Romo level here. <laughs> Carlos Correa for the Astros. Curtis Bellinger. So who planned the Janet Jackson boob thing? Who do you think, planned it? Do you think that was Janet Jackson or do you think that was more Justin Timberlake? Ryan Mountcastle. I think it was Jan Janet. And I think it was like surprising to to JT. Yeah, I, I, I don't, that I don't know. Tristan McKenzie to 499. I hope I have an opinion on that. For the Indians, Gregory Anthony. I think it just kind of happened and it was funny and then that, that's it. And people freaked out. Do you know that that's why YouTube was started? Shout out YouTube. You know, I think I actually I've one of the guys I think that one of the guys now, that, that you started YouTube or whatever I think actually had a hard time finding the video. Couldn't so he find started it, right. his own video hosting. Also he could see Janet Jackson the movie. Right. They think they couldn't find it. And now and now people can't do anything on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of ironic. Started started by one of the guys so he could see a boob. Well, and... it got too got too big. YouTube got too big and then they had to become adults. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Janet totally did it. She's like, you know what? There's this young kid getting all the attention. 
I'm going to get all the attention when he shows my boob. Bart, Dylan Carlson. <clears throat> oh, another another Hall of Fame short print. Tony Gwynn. What? Look at why, me why getting all the cool ones. These? San Diego Padres. Matthew Gomes. I did two double headers back to back. <laughs> Not you any of this. That is super cool. Oh, look at that mustache. What a That's good guy. Nice. So what we've gotten. This is a good uh, good hobby case. I feel like you need to bust out the bingo card. Well, I mean, who was who? Like, I had Cal Ripken. Who was the other one? George Brett was that the other short print? Yeah, George Brett and now Tony Gwynn. And By this... the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I all stacked the all the silver packs. This is your last hobby. Okay, box cool. Right there, perfect. I can't believe they turned into one one a.m. already. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, that's the way this is gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna blink and all of a sudden it's gonna be eight it's gonna be like eight it's gonna be like eight a.m. I'll be like, walking and you're like oh, oh my god I might set an alarm for myself at like seven so that I understand that at some point the door's gonna ring and I don't need to freak <laughs> out <laughs> like we're getting invaded. Well, here, listen, I told I told Jason this, but. That uh, that double header that right? double header might yeah. be kind of brutal. So if you're not feeling it, don't force it. Because I mean, don't make mistakes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So if like if you just kind of get there and you realize you just kind of hit a wall, yeah. just leave it for Jason. I, I, gave, I gave him the heads up too that that yeah. double header might get pushed to him. No, we'll see. So so he'll so he'll have fre fresh. Fresh arms. Uh, we got a gold Miguel Rojas from the Marlins to 2021. Andre Nadezhdzic. Uh, am I supposed to be filling out a, the break log? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can just copy and paste because you're doing a double header right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just do. That. I don't think I did the jumbo on there unless you put it on there. I didn't. Okay. Don't forget the jumbo. Yeah, I'll put the jumbo on there too. And then the one from Sunday on Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know if. I put it in there. I don't know if... Uh, oh, but it wasn't... Oh. I don't know if anybody oh, printed oh, oh. it or sent an email or anything like that. I oh, didn't I didn't send an email. So... <laughs> so, just a heads up. If I need to, I can recreate yeah, it. Yeah, just... On, uh, I can recreate it based off the videos or whatever. Dylan Carlson. <clears throat> Jason looks lost at me. Dylan Carlson. Oh, there it is. There's your Sunday right there. Okay, cool. Sunday the 7th, and then there's all that. It's all you, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably because Jason only did the Super Bowl and then I did the rest. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, we've had one auto from the silver packs. All right, so that must be in the jump in a jumbo case. That's gonna be eight break. Nine. Okay. Because I know on the other ones, remember when you were like, "Hey, mm -hmm. send me the thing well, or whatever." You know, you can start um, if you want to. You can start. I'll, maybe I'll talk to you about this tomorrow. You're here tomorrow night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Mountcastle. We're doing these. The the log is right here. Oh, okay. So that that's so all you need to do is just put your name in and then copy everything right here. I think Jace, Jason started to do that. Is too. all the rest of it filled in later on, or am I filling that NBA multi sport blah 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 on the right? See to the right. Oh yeah, I mean it. I mean usually I try I I do that, but if you can do that, that'd be okay. 
That'd be fine too. But as long as you just have the break in there, it's fine. Then we pull. Then I can see your mirror, mirror, and kind of clean up the list after that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that. I just didn't know where what yeah where the you know how the it's sausage. There now. It used to be a little more complicated because we sent daily ones, but then, but then we were just thinking, we kind of put a palm to our forehead. And we were like, wait, why are we doing it like this? Because every time we have to we have to <clears> reconcile <throat> all the all that product with the accountant, mm -hmm. it's like, oh well, let me pull up the sheet from the fifteenth, and then pull up the sheet from the twelfth, and pull up the sheet from the twenty second, mm -hmm. and try to like reconcile all this, make sure we're all on the same page. It got to be a nightmare. So then we're like, wait, 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 we're being dumb. Why, why are we, why do we not just put this on one big sheet? Yeah. Walker Bueller Gold. Scroll up and down and find Dodgers, all that stuff immediately. Eric Jocklich to 2021. So, okay, cool. Yeah, so we worked on that. So it's just that. February log, right? Yep, just okay. that. And then, and then I'll usually make the, make the March one and then I'll change the, the bookmark. All right, that makes sense. So that way, like, especially if like the computer crashes or whatever, then we don't lose that notepad. <laughs> Thing. Yeah. Christian Pache. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum, Matt Olson Relic for the A's, Billy Doherty, Casey Mize. I got food trash too. Buddy. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bobby Dalbeck, Joe Adele. Casey Mize. Yeah, for sure. Sixto Sanchez. Out of four ninety nine. Jesus Sanchez rookie. For the Marlins, Andre Najed. Another box. Bobby. Joe Adele. Casey Mize. Sixto Sanchez. <clears throat> Didn't he, uh, wasn't he part of the JT Real Muto trade? He was. Ryan Mountcastle. If they hadn't re-signed JT Real Muto, that would have been an absolute fleecing. Correct, so they had to. Yeah. I'm sure help JT in his negotiations. Yeah, he's like, hey, do you guys want to look like idiots by giving what, yeah. giving up that dude for yeah. for uh, one year of me? Yeah. Javi Baez to, oh. to 70. 37 out of 70. Chicago Cubs, Gary Martin. Nick Madrigal. Alec Bond. 
I don't wish bad on the Phillies, but when Bryce Harper was trying to like recruit Trout, made me made me sour on him even more. So this is the first Pepsi halftime show. Of course. No. Trout, Hey. Mm. Let him waste away here. Bobby Dahl. <laughs> Joe Adele. We have nothing. You know I love when Yankees fans say that. You guys were wasting Trout's career. I'm like, yeah, what have you guys done? <laughs> Casey Mai, Sixto Sanchez. Oh, we competed for a World Series. Ooh. Yeah, when was the last one you won? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a little arrogant for Yankee Yankees fans. It's just, like, just like, what are you so doing? Give so, but like, yeah. it's like, so give them to us is like the next part of the sentence. You yeah. know what I mean? So we can, we can, talent, so we can also not win so a World Series us. with him. <laughs> it's like, so give them to you. Like, that's not how trades work. Can you imagine Cashman's yeah. calling up like Epler in LA yeah. and he's just like, Ryan Mountcastle. Oh, you're wasting his talent, so you should just give him to us. Yeah. And the Angels GM's like, yeah, you know what, you're right. Yeah, that's not how it works, Yankees fans. Come on. Uh, Mike Trout, gold to 2021. Hey, speak of the devil. Angels, Curtis. He's good. You aren't getting them. You aren't getting them, Yankees. No matter what you say. Can't have him. No. He's out. You can't. Yes, you can. Keep your hands off him. He's my man. Man, you need to keep your hands off him. Stay him out of here. Keep your hands off Trump. Are you trying to make fun of Perry Maniasons? I don't know if that's what he sounds like. Come on. I didn't do well. All right. I'm okay. bailing on you. Yeah, go I'm for exhausted. it. You're good. Um, I'll see you tomorrow night. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Um, if you need me to come in earlier, based on you. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, right. You're gonna be here late enough. Well, so whatever. Just text me if I necessary. Should, I should be fine for for the eight hours, maybe even a little bit more tomorrow. Okay, cool. It's just a weird, weird starting time. I blink and I'm like. <clears throat> yeah. Do I have a trout rookie card, mm, Sam? I've I've begged Nick to sell me one of his, and he he's like a dragon sitting on top of a a thing of gold. <laughs> did, did you just <laughs> compare him to Smaug in, in in the in the Hobbit? I think so. Is that I've I haven't seen whatever mo movie well, that's you, from. You do know your what's, dragon what's lore. Smaug, that's what, what's Smaug and what's the Hobbit? He's a dragon. I know, but what what movie is that? That's the Lord of the Rings prequels. Okay, so no. I haven't seen that, but uh, yes, but I am yeah, comparing that's what him. what dragons love to do. They just yeah. love to sit on top of piles of gold and just yeah. sit there and just be Casey like, Mice, rookie relic mine. for the Tigers. Uh, Kevin Sullivan. I mean, it's a really good, like, mountain of gold for him, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's what dragons do historically, even outside of the Lord of the Rings. Yes. Dragon mythology. Is that bottom one full? Dragon mythology. No. I've got a little bit more okay, space. Cool. But yes, I would love to have my Trout rookie card. Tops update. It's not gonna happen. Six K. What's it at now, uh, Gary? I was actually just talking to Nick about that card today. What's the What's the Walmart blue at now? So I'm gonna guess if the ten was going for four, and now it's going for eight to ten. I'm gonna guess that that's probably fifteen to twenty. Eighteen to twenty. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's crazy. Mind having you that hand me that blue tape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me.
10 base for 10k. <clears throat> I I don't know, man. I would do it. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd sell it right down and then just wait for a drop and buy, rebuy it. I've seen some stuff that looks like it was price manipulation. Casey Mai, Sixto Sanchez to try to pump the number up to that 10k price level. I just, I don't know. Oh, you already, had, you already had a tub here, but now I just tagged this tub. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, dude. I'm trying to think what else. Christian Pache. You have enough sleeves? Yeah. yeah. Near you. Oh, um, sorry. Do you mind clicking on the schedule really quick? I'll bring you whatever is next. Two jumbos. Pick your teams. All right. I'll grab those for you. Thanks, dude. I mean, I understand. Trust me. I say I would do it, but at the same point, it'd also be very hard for me to, to rationalize it. I just can't imagine right now. Like, I feel like you could have gotten a black label for for a little bit more than that 10. Two, three months ago? I don't know. These, these ones feel like they have super factors in them. What? <laughs> Everyone has to stay up all night with Sean. The platinum 101. Feels like super refractors in here. What is, is this a short print? This was flipped around. Yeah, it's hey. a blue. It's a blue short print. Garbage pail Garbage kids. Garbage pail kids, nice. That goes to the non, non yeah. no baseball team spot. Interesting. There you go. You have the Ermsey out of five auto. That's pretty cool. So non uh, non team sport. Big bank, small bank. I like to make money. Okay. Right up castle. What is that from? Did you just make that up? Is that from a song? No, it's from a. It's it's, it's from a Ryan Dawson's character in Big Short. Oh, that's such a good movie. Remember when? Remember when he, when he's pitching the the idea to Steve Carell? It's it's that point. Is it? Oh, it's when he's also talking yeah. to the camera. Uh, yeah, and, and he's uh, Luis it's, it's Castillo the, uh, it's to twenty twenty one. The Jenga block scene. Oh yeah, yeah, for the Reds, Nelson Omoto. Like, you smell that? And then his assistant's like, uh, he's like, success, no opportunity. <laughs> That's such a good and, show. And he's just like, and then Vinny's just like, I just, I just want to know, how are you trying to f us? That's all I want to know. How, how are you trying to f us in all this? Listen, big bank, small bank, I like to make money. Okay. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Nick Madrigal, Alec Mom, Joe Adele Foil, rookie. There you go. Angels, Curtis Dehanyuk. Congrats, Curtis. I like me some Joe Adele. Bobby Dahlbeck, Joe Adele. And Dean Kramer. Auto for the Orioles, Michael Diaz. Uh, Later, dude. I'll see you tomorrow night. I set up the uh, double header case on the floor of the inventory room in case you get to it. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get to it. All right. All right, I'll see you then. Later.
Cool. So this is the six, or is this seven boxes? I think it was seven boxes I just did. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven box toppers. And then uh, I have one more hobby box and then six jumbo boxes on the table. <clears throat> Ryan Mountcastle. Sonny Gray for the Reds. Nelson Amoto. That is four out of 25. Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold out of 50. For the Braves, Gary Martin. Casey Mize. Francisco Lindor to 99 for the Indians, Greg Anthony. Cool. Like I said, we got one more hobby box and then it's all jumbo. Let's pop this up. So there's the silver pack for the hobby. Which one's the auto inserts the through the years? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I get what they're doing because they're documenting the cards through the years. I just wish they would pick cards that didn't have autographs because it literally looks like it. Ryan Mountcastle. And I'm sure people like were watching are like, did he just skip an autograph? Just like, no. It's a picture of an autograph. Just remember, all the autos, all the numbered cards, anything that's really, other than like the rookie cards, anything that's a non-rookie that's an auto, a numbered card, whatever, it's all going to be flipped around. So, Joe Adele. So if it's not flipped around, it's not an auto, not numbered. It's not a nothing. Unless it's a base rookie, which are good. Like this. Wookie Betts. Vintage stock out of 99 for the Dodgers. Eric Jacklich. For one of the through the years ones? No, there's not. Oh. Oh. Well, hopefully people aren't selling them as autos. Because that's a negative feedback waiting to happen. Christian Pache.
crazy. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum. Mike Trout Relic, speaking of the guy. Angels, Curtis DeHanyuk, Bobby Dahlbeck, Joe Adele. Casey Mai, Sixto Sanchez. We got a Brandon Nitzler or Kintzler out of seventy. 70 out of 70 for the Miami Marlins. Andre Nadjedge. So I've noticed there's two different, two out of 70s. One of them that has that 70th anniversary border and then the black border. It's interesting that they have both parallels, two different parallels numbered to the same. Joey Bart. Okay, so that's the end of our hobby boxes. Now we've got the six jumbo boxes that are sitting over my shoulder. Our last silver pack from hobby. Yeah, so the platinum, we've hit a platinum out of 70, which I thought was like, okay. Dylan Carlson. So here are the 12 silver packs and the box toppers. Should be six of those. There's our six jumbo boxes. Let's do it. Christian Pache. Mm. 
Joe Adele, spring training for the Angels. Curtis Dehanyak. Already open off camera? What are you talking about? The boxes? That's on camera right there, isn't it, Keith? That whole thing? If you want to, you can go back in the video, I guess, and watch the whole thing. I don't understand what you're saying, but sure. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum, did you just pop in? Nothing to say? No? No questions? So you just tuned in, saw something that you didn't know anything about, and thought something was weird was going on. It's a good way to do it. Bobby Dahlbeck. Don't be so negative. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Derek Jeter. Patch Auto. 7 out of 10. New York Yankees, Gary Martin. There you go, Gary. Congratulations, man. There you go, dude. Uh, all cards do ship, Dick. In veteran commons on this, they will be evenly separated and shipped out. Um, so it's not like you're gonna get all the vet commons for your team in this random team. You can read the descriptions for the breaks on there. These double headers, Joe Adele, um, we're giving, we're shipping all the vet commons separate or evenly throughout all the teams. Casey Mai, Sixto Sanchez. Ryan Mountcastle. No, that's a real, legit auto. Numbered out of 10. Nice patch, too. Remember, we opened it off camera, so apparently we, we planted that in there from what that guy said earlier. I mean, I can I can't keep making fun of it, right? Jacob Eunice to two ninety nine for the Royals, Levi Johnson. Uh, Rex, we just pulled a Jeter patch auto out of 10.
Keston here a relic for the Brewers. Derek Hamilton. <laughs> uh, it was from a jumbo. It's from, this is from uh, this is double header number three. Christian Pache, Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson, Mike Miner, gold to 2021 for the A's, Billy Doherty. That is pretty good. It is pretty, pretty good. Rex, we pulled a, uh, uh, we pulled a short print, uh, what's it called? Tops card for, uh, Garbage Pail Kids earlier, too. Nick Madrigal. Alec Baum. I thought you, you would, uh, be impressed by that. Bryce Harper, spring training. Phillies, that is James Smee to 299. Bobby Dahlbeck. Dylan Carlson foil for the Cardinals. Uh, Ryan Kaysen. We do. We do have an Instagram page. It's at Jaspies Breaks. Short, another short print. George Brett. Second one I've gotten. I don't know if the first one was in the same, was in the hobby case. Uh, Kansas City Royals. That is Levi Johnson. Same on Twitter at Jaspies Breaks. Joe Adele. Uh, you'll see it in the recap. Sixto Sanchez, Casey Mines. Ryan Mountcastle. I know GPK is hot right now. Short prints? Yeah. They have them. Um, most of the time, actually, the only time they're in these series, these sets is if they are in there as a short print, for the most part. And Nick Madrigal. There you go. Rookie Otto. Chicago White Sox. Levi Johnson. I guess he could have... Pressed a little bit harder on the beginning of the signature there for you, Nick. 
171 out of 199 for the Chicago White Sox, Levi Johnson. Absolutely, man. Tell him to do it. Did he get a good screenshot of it? Uh, Gary? And thanks for you. Thanks to you and him, it's decent. Here, thanks to you and him for both being part of. Uh, actually, here, give me a second. You need the top drip party sticker on there for yourself. Let's do the series one rip party portion of the sticker on there for you. We can get it to show out of 10. The out of 10 is hard to get on there though, because it's like, it's like the same exact color as the background. But there you go, man. Ow. Absolutely. Congrats again. And thanks for getting in on this with us. And thanks to Tops for letting us do it again. And Hector. Is it Neris? Yeah, Neris. For the Phillies to 70. That's going to James Smee. Seven out of ten, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was hard to get the like. If I got the numbering in the picture, so you could get it in like the screenshot, it would have like had a, a shine on like his face or on the rest of the card. You know what I mean? But I'm sure that'll make our Instagram as well. That's your son's jersey number. It was meant to be for him. Like I said, thanks to both of you guys for being a part of this. And I'm, like I said, on card auto too. Of the captain himself. Christian Pache. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. It's meant to be. I mean, you got to think, there's a lot of things that had to work for that to happen, right? We had to have the right case. You had to be in the right break. That case had to be for that specific break that you were in. Bobby Dahlbeck, foil. Red Sox, Ryan Keating. Julio Urias, gold to 2021. For the Dodgers, Eric Jacklich, And another one for you. To 199, Aaron Judge, Pinstripe Relic for the Yankees and Gary Martin. Like I said, it was meant to be. A lot of things had to play in for that to come up during your break. Randomizer for your team. 
all that stuff. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum. <laughs> Let's try. I don't know if I'll make it to that, but Bobby Dahlbeck again. I think based on, I'm not sure where that falls in our scheduling, but maybe that'll be with the Jumbo. I guess that'll be with with the uh, with Joe, I think. By the time that comes up. Another short print Tony Gwynn. We got we had one of these so yeah they, I think we hit two George Brett and two Tony Gwynns in the same one. Uh, for the Padres, Matthew Gomes, Joe Adele, Angels, Curtis Dahanyuk. Yes, the Dodgers fan. He's a good guy. He's a real good guy. I mean, he did pull a Mike Trout uh, patch auto out of five to start the day for us. So. so he's happy about pulling Angel stuff. It's true. They're very touchy. They're a very touchy group of people. Bobby Dahlbeck. Joe Adele, Casey Mize, Sixto Sanchez, Ryan Mountcastle, Christian Pache, short print. There you go. Atlanta Braves, Gary Martin. Nice one, man. Uh, yeah, Connor. I think we're sold out up until like 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. today. So another 12 hours worth. Um, there will be more loaded, but yeah. We are booked. As of now. We got a Blake Snell relic for the Rays, Mark Sturman. That is 37 out of 99. This is just a regular 230. Ooh. 
Uh, Gary, this is a super short print. This is number 231. So this is an SSP, not a, not a SP. There you go, man. Yeah. Congrats. It's rookie super short print of a big time rookie too. Since these are brand new, we don't know. I I mean, we have some a list of some of the short prints, but not all of them are are known yet at the time that we started today. You know what I mean? So we do we know the numbering for the short print is two thirty. We know the numbering, and, and that's that's the only one we knew. Two thirty one appears appears to be the super short print. There's also something called the ultra short print, which is the first year of ever. Which it used to be super, super, super short print, I guess. But, yeah. That's a, that's a good one, man. Christian Pache. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. But yeah, when we started today, we didn't even know the, what the code was for the super short prints. We knew short print was 230. Um, obviously, the short prints are the ones that are flipped around. So we've seen a couple of them now. I think well, maybe that might be the second or third total super short print. And those are number 231. But now we need to figure out what the ultra short print is. Hopefully, we find one of those today. Tonight, while we're ripping. Luke Voigt Gold, 2021. Yankees, Gary Martin, and Bruce Star Gratterall. 17 out of 50, Jersey and Auto for the Dodgers. Eric Joklich. Cool. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum, I thought we had a second auto, nope, just uh, through the years, fooling us again. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Joey Bart, gold to 2021. For the Giants, Austin Hainer. Cool, we got three more boxes of Jumbo.
Uh oh. What does that mean is gonna happen? Something good? I can only mean good things coming. Dylan Carlson. Joey Gallo, Rangers, David De La Pena. That is numbered to 299, 17 out of 299. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum. Carter Keyboom, black to 70. Washington, Gary Martin. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll get you one of those. Bobby Dahlbeck. Joe Adele. Casey Mize. Remind me when I do the recap and I'll do it for you. Oh, you got it already? Okay. I would say if you didn't get a good one on that. Jorge Mateo, rookie auto for the Padres. Matthew Gomes. Okay, cool. Sixto Sanchez. Ryan Mountcastle. Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals, to 2021, Ryan Kaysen. Uh, it's all good. Hey, it works. Then that's all it needs to do. Cool. So this is the second half of that box. Yeah. I used to remember only having a pager. 
And my mom would page me Ryan Mountcastle. And then I have to call the house. And if you were in really bad trouble, you get paged a bunch of times in, in a row. I remember that. Christian Pache. Justin Verlander, short print for the Astros. Curtis Bellinger, that is a sh regular short print. And Nolan Arenado, a little pinstripe relic there for the Rockies. Chris Miller. It'd be cool to make kids use pagers again, but unfortunately, like, there's no pay phones. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson. Nick Madrigal, Alec Baum, Does anybody know of a Payphone next to the, near them? I feel like payphones are like only at airports nowadays. Can't think of another place that would relative like regularly have payphones. Maybe a bus depot? Airport and bus depot, I, I could think are the only two places I would think that would really you'd have payphones regularly. Ryan Mountcastle. You don't even see him in airports anymore? Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Not numbered. Uh, David De La Pena. Uh, Amir Garrett to 2021 for the Reds. Nelson Omoto. Christian Pache. And there you go. Gary. Christian Pache, rookie auto. He's going to 
You're gonna have to get him a new phone, man. If he's gonna have to update, up, post all of these different hits. Congratulations, dude. Damn. Doing pretty good. <laughs> oh. Joey Bart. It's a real thing, man. It is a real thing. And remember, it's not even over yet. We still got all those box toppers, too. And one and a half full boxes still to go. Ah, missed the trash can. <laughs> well, thanks for giving us a shot in the first time, place. We we know that there are plenty of options. Nick Madrigal. Alec Baum. Dylan Carlson. Carlos Correa at a four ninety nine for the Astros. Curtis Bellinger. Bobby Dahlbeck. Joe Adele. I feel like I haven't seen a Casey Mize in a while. Am I setting myself up to see a Casey Mize auto coming up through? Where do you live? Are you uh, are you driving distance? Because yeah, you can set up to pick up all these hits. Um, understand that with these bigger breaks, there's gonna be a little bit more of a lead time or like delay. There's Casey Mice uh, and Sixto Sanchez between us having them ready. Okay, Vegas. So yeah, I mean, if you want to do a pickup, you can definitely do that. Um, if you go back to the main page, Jaspi's Case Breaks, the website, you'll see a little floating orange button in the bottom left corner that support. You can do that. Uh, set it up for auto pickup. Alec Baum, rookie silver, foil for the Phillies, James Smee. Chris Bryant, pinstripe, Cubbies, Gary Martin. No numbering on that. Um, but yeah, with these larger breaks, because we're having so many of them, all at once and we are shipping all cards and stuff like that um there may there's going to be a delay the over a normal brace br uh, break so and remember we're breaking consistently all the way through our stream's going to be going i'll be here until probably 8 a.m which is another five and a half hours and then we'll have Jason, you've got White Sox, Gold 2021, Levi Johnson. Yeah. Um, so I'll be here until 8 a.m. Jason will go on from 8 until 1 or 2. Then Joe, who just left, what, an hour ago? He'll be back at 1. Um, and he'll go from 1 to 9. And I'll be back tonight at nine o'clock to go again and then our stream will officially end whenever i go off air tonight after my nine o'clock late night 
Ryan Mountcastle. So by the time I get here, our stream will have gone from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. the next day. So that's 27 hours. Plus, I'll at least be here till midnight. So that'll be 30 hours. Uh, LAX. We're, uh, we're really close to LAX. I live in Orange County, which is uh, where Santa Ana or John Wayne Airport is. But yeah, we're, we're a hop, skip, and a jump to LAX from here. So we actually do have quite a few people that when they, with bigger hits that will fly in and just come in, pick up their stuff, and go. And get themselves some uh, in and out while, we're, while they're here. But you've already got those in Vegas, so you're good. Yeah. Yeah, also, uh, LAX is the closest. Long Beach Airport's not far either, um, but... Long Beach has a, is a little bit further. Um, I mean, sometimes you can get cheaper flights, but I mean, I don't think it's ever too expensive between Vegas and here. I always I used to use JetBlue a lot. That is true. Time wise, gas, all that. But yeah, you can email us for local for a pickup, and we can arrange everything, set it all aside for you. Cody Bellinger, spring training for the Dodgers. Eric Jokic, 13 out of 70. Christian Pache. Alex Bregman, short print. Regular short print for the Astros. Kurtz Bellinger. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. Yeah, you can get pretty cheap rental cars for just a couple hours. Nick Madrigal. Alec Baum, Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson, and Jose Garcia, auto for the Reds, Nelson Omoto, Just this stack and the second half of this box. And then it's all box toppers. Bobby Dahlbeck. Joe Adele. Bryce Harper short print. Well, that's pretty cool. Phillies. James Smee. Super short print. There you go. I was like, I don't think that photo is a short print photo. That's our second super short print of this uh, this jumbo case, I think. That's pretty cool photography there. You see, the, it's hard to see, but two thirty one is the number on it. There you go.
But a nice, uh, nice double header. Casey Mize, Sixto Sanchez. Ryan Mountcastle. Jay Bruce, gold, 2021. Phillies, James Smee, and Vlad Guerrero Jr. Relic for the Blue Jays, Gary Martin. Pache. Nick Madrigal, rookie foil. White Sox, Levi Johnson. Cool. That's the rest of it. Now we just got our box toppers. So we should have 12 here for all six jumbo boxes. Joey Bart, Joey Bart out of 50, gold, Giants, Austin Hainer,
Javi Baez out of 50. Gold for the Cubs. Gary Martin. Too bad. Let's keep it going. Bobby Dahlbeck for the Red Sox, Ryan Keating. Ryan Mountcastle, Orioles, Michael Diaz. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals, Ryan Kaysen. Now we've got the box toppers. Should have six of these. Starting off with Pete Alonzo for the Mets, Steven Surrey. Garrett Cole for the Yankees, Gary Martin. Chris Bryant for the Cubs, Gary Martin. Aaron Judge for the Yankees, Gary Martin. Fernando Tatis Jr., Padres, Matt Gomes. And last one. Chris Bryant, Cubs, Gary Martin. Doubled up on the Chris Bryant there for you guys. Cool. So let's do the randomizer and do our recap. Give me one second. Not too bad, Gary. Not too bad. So recap time, or actually no, randomizer time. So here is our original list of customers from Mark Stemmerman back down to Steven Suri with Last Spot Mojo. Dice roll. And since this is a double header, top two names receive those Rip Party packs. Third name gets any non-team associated cards. There are tops non-team associated cards in here. Uh, so that third name will get those. So dice roll. Five and a five, 10, 10—the hard way. Tenth and final time. Andre Nadejej and David De La Pena get those Tops Rip Party Packs. And Calvin Michael, you'll get all the non-team associated cards. You can see ten times on the randomizer there. Ten times on the dice. Back up to the top. Andre and David De La Pena. So, where's the pen? Go here. 
So Andre, where is your name? Yeah, you are. You had the Marlins. Rip party pack. Uh, David De La Pena. You are right there with the Texas Rangers. Rip party pack. Um, and we're waiting on these to be shipped to us. So these should be here and uh, available to be shipped out to you guys uh, next week, I believe. And Calvin Michael, you will get any non-team cards. There you go. So recap time. It's a good one. We had a couple super short prints, some Hall of Fame short prints, a lot of Hall of Fame short prints. Joey Bart, Javi Baez, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Jose Garcia, Cody Bellinger, Alex Bregman, Chris Bryant, Joey Gallo, Nolan Arenado, Justin Verlander, Carter Keyboom, Joey Gallo, Jorge Mateo, Bruce Star Gratterall, Joe Adele, Aaron Judge, Blake Snell, Christian Pache, super short print. Tony Gwynn, George Brett, uh, Hector Neris, Bryce Harper, Nick Madrigal, rookie auto. Keston Hira, Joe Adele, Mike Trout, Brandon Kinsler, Mookie Betts, Ronald Acuna Jr., Sonny Gray, Francisco Lindor, Dean Kramer, uh, non-team associated short print garbage pail kids, Javi Baez, Casey Mize, Matt Olson, Tony Gwynn short print, Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Jesus Lazardo, Nate Pearson, Key Brian Hayes, one of one sketch, Matt Chapman, pretty cool. Uh, George Brett, short print. Brandon Belak, Garrett Richards, Xander Bogarts, Cal Ripken Jr., short print. Matt Olson and Sean Murphy. There you go. Oh, and also Bryce Harper, super short print. Christian Pache, rookie auto. And 7 out of 10, patch auto, Derek Jeter. Pretty nice doubleheader there. There you go, guys. That was 2021 Top Series 1 Baseball Doubleheader 2 Case Break Hobby and Jumbo Random Team Number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.